this is a high scoring league, but we saw the Saints shut down last week. We saw the Rams shut down last night. And I ask you this question about Seattle. If you run the football and you can play defense, can you slow those high scoring NFC teams down enough to win a playoff game in the manner in which Seattle won tonight? Well, Scott, I think you can, but you, you got to have great defense. You can't have good defense. Right. You got to have great defense, and you have to affect the quarterback physically and mentally. And you saw Seattle do that tonight. They had Kirk Cousins confused. They dropped back. They played zone. They had a great player, middle linebacker, Bobby Wagner. He did a phenomenal job. And this defense frustrated the Minnesota Vikings offense. Now, with that being said, this Minnesota offense was terrible. And you can tell there's a disconnect between offensive coordinator John DeFilippo and the head coach Mike Zimmer. When you pay a quarterback $84 million, Scotty, you don't expect him to come out and not make game-changing plays. Kirk Cousins just doesn't do that. And so I think if you're Minnesota, you got to go back to the drawing board. But hell to the defense, Scotty. The defense is back. We can talk all about Patrick Mahomes and Tom Brady and the high-flying offense. Shout out to the Cowboys. Shout out to the Bears and to Seattle. Defense is back. As the weather has changed, the defense is here, Scotty. Funny how that happens every single <laughs> year, doesn't it? And, and I want to go back, though, to what you say about Cousins, because as, as a Redskin fan, and I am, it was really interesting to see the way he was consumed by the fan base there. Yeah. And there, there, there was a portion of the fan base that thought, nah, he's not the guy. And then clearly the front office didn't feel that way. And then we all know he ends up going to Minnesota. What's a fair window to view Cousins through in terms of what he is and is not providing Minnesota right now? Well, I think when you paint a picture of Kirk Cousins, you have to understand where he came from. How many times have teams allowed franchise quarterbacks to just walk out the door? And Washington was willing to allow Kirk Cousins to just walk out the door, and they didn't care. And I think that sent shockwaves through the NFL. And Minnesota said, you know what? If that's your trash, he's going to be our treasure. And he's gotten here, Scotty, and he hasn't made game-changing plays. We can talk about the offensive coordinator, DeFilippo and Zimmer and, and Thielen and Diggs. But can your quarterback, you've guaranteed $84 million, can he win you some ball games? The biggest knock on Kirk Cousins in D.C., that in the biggest moments, in the moments where his team needed him the most, he came up small. I think we saw that again tonight, Scotty. He came up small in a big moment where his team desperately needed to win. All right, Booger, travel safely next week. We'll see if the Panthers can get things back together as they welcome the Saints, and we look forward to visiting with you afterwards. Be well, man. Anytime, Scotty. By the way, I had a great piece of fish, and if you come to Seattle, make sure you visit Wild Ginger. It's a great restaurant. All right. Well, well let me write that down here as I continue hosting a TV show. <laughs> restaurant recommendation from listen, Booker. Um, <laughs> listen, Shocker. America knows how we talk. We, right, we give you. America football, and we give them restaurant recommendations. All right. Go get your flight and travel safe, my man. Later, buddy. Thank you.